All right, everybody, I'm going to start working on the brackish tank tonight. I'm going to do a water change on it, but I'm also going to get in there and I'm going to try to siphon out a bunch of that red slime cyanobacteria. So I'm not going to do a huge video about it, but I am going to try to get enough uh, video of me getting in there and vacuuming it out. And then I'll tack a little bit on the end and we'll do an after just to show you how uh, cleaned up I got it. I think I'm probably going to get my razor out and clean up the glass a little bit while I'm in there too. Uh, but I want to just give you an idea of how this stuff comes up out of the water. I not even need to get the razor out for the glass. It's just coming off in sheets. Definitely have to be careful because the gobies can get sucked up in this very easily, I would imagine. Alright everybody, here we are the following day. I actually got in there and did quite a bit more than what we saw on video. That was just sort of my preliminary run. I went back in after I filled the tank back up and there was still a lot of that red slime in there so I got in there with a um, smaller hose, just a little airline hose and that allowed me to siphon off and suck out some more of that cyanobacteria that was in the nooks and crannies and I was able to get it a little more cleaned up and I also went in with some of my um, filter material, the poly uh, material that I use, the batting and then I used that as sort of a wiping cloth and I wiped a lot of the red uh, bacteria off of the surfaces that was still on the glass and everything. That green you see on the glass is, um, I'm honestly not sure what kind of algae it is, but it's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's an algae and it is just tough as nails. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and really you got to get in there with the razor blade and scrape that off the glass. Um, it's almost like the green spot algae except instead of being in spots it's all over and perhaps it is the same species it's just growing in there so thoroughly that it's you know um, I guess you could think about it as the spots have all connected and made one large mass of that really green uh, hard to get algae it's not the cyanobacteria that isn't the green cyanobacteria that's something different this I'm pretty sure is algae uh, and like I say it's tough as nails I just wanted to get the tank cleaned up enough that we could see in it and it just didn't look like an eyesore um, again I am in the process of setting another tank up altogether for this one um, just to be replaced so that's what it looks like when I get in there and scrub it and clean a little bit and you can actually see the rocks and you can see the substrate on the bottom uh, Butterbean still doesn't quite know what to make of it I was just in there a little while ago scrubbing the glass down a little more uh, to see if I couldn't get it a little bit cleaner and I think that's why he's still a little agitated and kind of banging up against the glass like that. He might also see me standing here and be wondering why there's no food coming into the tank. He's a greedy little bugger when it comes to feeding. So we made quite a difference. It looks a whole lot better. And as I said, this tank is a temporary uh, you know, lifespan left anyway. I'm going to be breaking this down here fairly soon. And we will be doing another tank. So thanks for watching this one. I hope that was informative. I certainly found it interesting. Um, that, that red slime in there really is uh, some overwhelming stuff if you let it get on top of you the way I have. 
So thanks for watching this one and go ahead and subscribe that way you won't miss the updates as I start putting the new tank together. Uh, I think I'm going to begin working on that later this afternoon. So thanks again for watching this one and I'll see you real soon on the next one.